Hi, in this video, I'll be covering why you should use Excel Advanced Filter. Do you have complex filters to do on your table data? Is your boss looking over your shoulder while giving you instructions on, let's filter for this and that, and include these three, four, five things? You're probably thinking, how am I gonna do this? Put it in a pivot table, write a VBA script? Hold on. There's already something in Excel that can do this with advanced filtering. It's been around since the late 2000s, and it's even appropriately called advanced filter. You'd be surprised at what type of complex filtering can be done with a feature that's been around since Excel 2007, but it's there. And once you realize how useful it is, it'll be a secret tool for complex filters. So let's check it out. This is something that you probably should be using more often if you're not using it for filtering, if you're doing complex filtering. Things that you can't do with a regular filter, you can probably do here kind of nicely. So let's revisit how advanced filtering works. Let's say I want to look up anybody that has the title manager in them. So I will just type asterisk manager, close asterisk, anything that comes before or after the title manager in there. And I'll turn on advanced filtering, go to data, go to advanced, and it selected the range for me. This is my range from A12 to uh, E102, 1012, which is my whole entire data set has about a thousand records. And my criteria range, I'm going to select just from A2 to E3. Now you got to have the, this criteria range, just basically your criteria table, have the headers the same as your uh, lookup table here. So once I do that, click OK, click Enter, and you see that it's picked up anything that has manager. If I want to add another one here, another criteria here, maybe I want all the managers that are under 100 pounds, go to data, advance, or the keyboard shortcut Alt A Q, and let me scroll back up here and click OK. Then we'll have anybody with a title manager uh, that are that's under 100 pounds. One thing to note with advanced filtering, when you have the filters here on the same row, it's basically an and filter. I want to find people that have the title manager and under 100 pounds. Maybe we can add something else. I can say I want to find editor, anybody that has a title editor in there. Also, let's make this, maybe we'll make this person under 150 pounds, right? And then just go back under advanced, click that, click go. Now that I've entered in something on line four or row four, I got to change that to uh, criteria range to include row four, click OK. And now we've got people that have the title editor and they're under 150 pounds. So you might think, well, I can do this with my regular filter. Let's clear this because I can just turn on filtering and I can go under here, text filters, uh, custom filter, anybody that has a title manager uh, and then, or not contain, not equals contains. Actually, I don't even need this here now since I have contains. So I can say contains and also contains editor. All right, click OK. All right, and then I can also do here weight. Weight is, let me go into number filters, custom filter, All right? You can say, here we can say less than 100 or less than 150. But then here, we're gonna get into problems, right? Because now we're gonna say this one had, it can be less than 100 and less than 150. And see, now we've gotten into the problem here that we have our last row here. We have a project manager that is over 147, not under the 100 here. So, and that's the beauty of the advanced filter because it really does do an and on the row. So basically it's doing, give me a manager and under 100 or give me people that with the title editor in them and under 150. So the advanced filter feature gives you a lot of possibilities if you've got complex filters. Now, if we wanted to add in some more interesting things, you will notice that it is also case insensitive. So that's one thing that you have to think about when you're doing this, because I can just type in executive here, right? We have an executive. I'm not using the capital E. And let's say we have that person under 150 and let's turn off my filter here, go back to advance and let me scroll back up. We included row five here and click OK. Oh, I put 150, so they have to equal exactly 150. Let's change that to less than 150. Go to Alt-A-Q, press Enter, 
And now we have our executive secretaries here. They're all under 150 pounds. And the beauty of advanced filtering, even though it's case insensitive, as you see here, is that you can keep adding to it and so you can see what kind of filters that you have. If I do something like maybe anybody that's over 297, Alt-AQ, press Enter, oops, Alt-AQ, and add my criteria range to include row six, click OK. Now you see it increases. So you can see that you have what your filters are here. So it's basically doing an and for the rows and then an or for any of the subsequent rows and you get your results below. And that's the nice thing about advanced filter. But also you have to realize that advanced filtering iterates over each of the rows here. So if you have a larger data set, I've got a thousand records here, but if you have a larger data set, it's gonna be a little bit slowed down because it's iterating or it's going row by row to look at these filters. So just be cognizant or be aware that that's happening. So there's pluses and minuses towards using advanced filter, but I think the pluses outweigh them if you're using a little bit more complex filtering and want to see what kind of filters you have. I hope you found the advanced filtering feature a surprise. I was when I revisited how useful it could be. Even though Microsoft wows us with new filtering features, just like the dynamic array function filter, just know that you can still do some pretty cool stuff with the good old advanced filter feature. To see more Excel videos like this, click the banner at the end.